Good morning everyone and welcome back to our farm here again today. Today we have two jobs now that we need to get done this morning. First job is to drop off this fabulous exclusive escargot products off to an amazing place in Galway. That is Glenlow Abbey and the outskirts of Galway City. So we'll get these up to the restaurant and then after that we have to go and collect snails for another farm that will be coming here tomorrow to collect them. So we'll get that done. So first we have to go Gracie Lou, <laughs> bring her up to school, drop her off, and then we head straight to Glenlow Abbey to get these delivered. So let's go. now coming up to the picturesque setting of Glenlow Abbey just on the outskirts the edges of Galway City it is a stunning place a stunning setting and you're only a stone's throw away from Galway City and you will always find exclusive escargot snails on the menu look at this Five star all the way here, you know. I'll go and drop them in now. Just on the way home now. And we'll change out uh, these nice meeting people clothes and we'll move into farm clothes again. And then we'll just go and gather up the snails that we have leaving here tomorrow. So that's just what the plan is now at the minute, is to get home. Have a bit of something to eat, change clothes, and head back out onto the farm and start handpicking the best breeders that we have for the farm that will be coming, taking them tomorrow. It's been so long since I drove through Galway City. <laughs> Was with all the travel restrictions and all this stuff that we couldn't move and couldn't travel. To be back traveling now and actually get to go through my home city again is... I like it. Restaurants and that now slowly starting to open the doors and get food back on the menus. It's a good time right now and let's hope this last lockdown was the last lockdown. And that we can start getting this country back and moving again, that little bit. Because these lockdowns were so hard for everyone, like restaurants, producers, it was just a, a slow, hard time to get anything done or anything moving. So to have it up and going now again, I know we've been here before, opened up and then had to close back down again. Let's hope this isn't another one of them times and that we can all kind of just get a little a little run at being open. And that's why nowadays 
local everything is important. Local food, local restaurants, local shops, local produce. It all just blends into the big Irish market and bubble that we have and that we should be proud of. Because when we got into snails, everyone thought we were crazy and mad. people still do think we're crazy and mad. But it was only by getting into snails and by being different and doing something different that we we got to see a lot of other different food products out there and meet people. And I can tell you, there are so many great food, Irish food products out there that you would never think Ireland produces. And that makes me happy and makes me proud. Bye bye Galway City. We're just on the slip road to the motorway now. Just start leaving Galway behind us. Uh, here we go motorway. Now. So it's time to change out of these clothes and get into farm clothes. Back into what I would call normal clothes. So as everyone can see, I screwed up on that last video. I filmed that without turning the mic on. I knew that day was coming. I knew that was going to happen at some stage when you go into something and you just forget to press the button. So we're going to have to redo that and show you what we were showing you then with sound. And I wouldn't mind you lost out on so many golden pieces of information. Nah, only kidding. So we'll redo that now. So all we do at this stage now is just run through everything that we have here, collect all the breeding snails that we can pick and just to bring them in the shed to sort them out. So we just run through everything here now. So I'll bring you in the shed now and show you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It's the only way you'll get to keep up to date on everything that we're doing here on the farm. So give that a hit and you'll get notifications of new videos that we put up. So you'll get to keep up to date with everything that we're doing here behind the scenes. Thanks guys. So here are snails I met earlier. <laughs> no, I just always wanted to say that. So these are the snails now that we brought in out of the field. So we're just going to go through these now one by one and hand by hand and pick out the best quality breeders that we have here and they're the ones that will be sorted and ready for the farm to pick up and the rest that aren't fully top quality breeders we'll keep these back and they'll go back out into the field. So that's just the job now that we're going to be doing right here right now.
And as always, there are snails that don't make the grade when we're going through them and sorting them. Because everything we do is done by hand. Everything is checked by hand. So be it snails for food or snails for breeding, we'll go through every single snail one by one and the best ones that always go out. And it's the same with breeding snails. So I'll just explain why some of them didn't make the grade now this time when we were going through them. So these are the ones out here that didn't make it into the batches that are going. And when we lift them up and see, they're just too thin at the minute to send out for breeders. And she is no lip now, she's not even mature. And there's even a few here now that we came across, if I can find them again, that have broken shells and bits like that. Again like that, she's very thin in there. So we wouldn't select these going out as breeders. So these ones stay behind and we'll put these back out in the field and all the rest now are ready to go and get jiggy this summer. And this one is just too small, way, way too small. I don't know how he even came in. So these ones are staying back and all the rest now are ready to go for tomorrow. So these here now are our Irish free range, top of the range breeding snails. All raised outdoor, everything done as nature intended. So that's why everybody wants these <laughs> breeding snails. So top quality, Irish from start to finish. And here they are now going to a farm tomorrow. So we have another order now that's going out today. And this one now here is just the 500 kgs. And these jars now are going to the famous fishmongers called Gannet Fishmongers in Galway. They're a famous Galway shop. And we've just a box of these now here ready to go. So we'll drop these off now and get these into Gannet's Fishmongers. And that'll be another job done then for today. So we're here at Gannets now, so we just get to go and drop these fantastic exclusive Escargot 500 gram jar products in now. Now, so here we are on the way home. And now we have to face into another famous thing in Galway. Galway traffic. Yeah, this never ending cycle of stuck in traffic. But it's so good to see our Galway back open and moving and people around and shops opening and everything happening again. It, it, it's glorious 
to see it because it's such a vibrant mix on the west coast of Ireland and it's a, it's a fabulous little town with the people and the characters and the colour and the life and it's great to see it coming back after all these lockdowns and closures and Covid and lockdowns and reopening and more lockdowns so it's been a hard 12 months for everyone not just us, for everyone trying to figure this out and trying to balance this out and with restaurants being closed and pubs being closed and shops being closed it's, it's been a hard one to to get right now this year so it's good to see everything starting to slowly open back up and being allowed to open back up and that way is we get to have our product back out there again and get it into shops and get it into restaurants so that's always nice when you start getting the orders back in after a turbulent 12 months last 12 months well you have to sing when you're stuck in traffic don't you hopefully this will be the last worst bit of traffic once we get past here, hopefully we should be hitting the motorway after that and at least it should be moving and travelling a bit come the motorway. Now it's green, let's go and let's hope we get past this. And it's clear roads after that. Go, 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 go. Now I... Slip road to the motorway now, so once we're on the motorway, it's home sweet home. Motorway. So we'll wrap this week's video up here now. Thanks a million for watching guys. All the new people, anyone that hasn't hit the subscribe button, hit it down below. For all the people who keep coming back watching the videos thank you so much so we'll wrap up now and we'll do another video soon so i'll talk to you guys again soon so thanks